What's up guys, Piotr here, Actioner Central, welcome to the video. Uh, today I want to talk about bags, uh, range bags uh, specifically, because uh, when you get all your gear, sure, you can stuff it in a, uh, like a grocery bag and carry it around, but where's the fun in that, right? <laughs> okay, let's get it. Okay, so um, this is by no means like a sponsored video. What I'm showing here is just my setup and uh, how I carry my stuff. And the bag I got is uh, just uh, something I had, uh, I purchased it like way back. And uh, this is a direct action uh, messenger bag that um, I just uh, tried out for like EDC uh, a couple years back. Uh, and then it uh, went back in the closet. I even thought about selling it, but and then I started uh, doing action air and I figured that, uh, well, actually it's uh, quite a nice bag to carry all the stuff around. And uh, the reason why you would want a bag like this, uh, for me at least, is just to have a better organization. Uh, like uh, on my first uh, vlog, like the range vlog, you might have seen it. I, uh, it was a situation where I just uh, like got randomly uh, notified that we're going to go to the range. So I had to go back from work really quick, grab my stuff and go. And uh, I had it in the bag, so I just picked up the bag and left and there was no time at all. Uh, plus, you know, you don't uh, have to search around the house for your stuff. So it's nice to have it in one place. Uh, so that's basically just the reason to, to have it like that. You got all the stuff that you need to, the uh, that you, to take to the range in one place and uh, you don't you don't have to worry about it you just uh, uh, keep track of the consumables like bb's and gas uh, make sure it's all there and then you can just uh, pick it up from wherever you store it at your house and just go so um that's uh, that's <laughs> the reason why you would want one and of course uh, there's probably like countless ways to uh, organize your gear <clears throat> and carry it this is just my way of doing it uh, you can, depending on your budget, you can do whatever, um, you know, be super cheap or super expensive. Uh, there are very expensive uh, range bags you can get. I guess it would, it is nice probably to uh, like overspend a little bit if you travel a lot, especially on planes uh, where your stuff uh, gets uh, thrown around. You want it to be very durable so that your equipment doesn't get broken. And we all know that uh, a broken pistol is basically the worst that can happen. So um, there you would probably want to look more into durability. But for just everyday use, uh, like myself, I just uh, store it at home and then take it to the range and that's it. I, I commute with my car so you know I have full control on how the gear uh, gets transported. It's just fine. Okay, so this setup, I actually... Um, the, the, like the main issue I had with setting up my stuff was how to take care of the belt because it's very stiff, very rigid and uh, the holster, the race holster that I have, uh, I, I, it, it twists, it rotates here uh, but I don't really want to touch it uh, because I want it to be exactly in the same place, the same position every time so I, I, I didn't want to like bend it parallel to the belt so I had a... Um, an issue on how to attach it to the bag so what I did was just uh, found um, a random like a molly attachment strap from some other stuff that I had and I just tie it uh, to the handle it takes three seconds and the belt is attached with just this one strap and it's secure enough uh, to to place it um, in the with the bag uh, the bag itself, it's like I said, the direct action messenger bag, it's the bigger one because there's like they have a small one and this is the bigger one. It's a really nice sturdy bag, Cordura fabric, all the good stuff. Uh, you get one pocket over here, I don't really carry anything here, but uh, you, got, uh, you got like this uh, pouch on this side that you can put stuff in and there is uh, like a water, a water bottle uh, holder here which uh, coincidentally is the perfect size uh, to fit a 400 milliliter uh, green gas bottle which I'll demonstrate in a second so once you open it uh, the insides look kind of like this 
so the way I have it organized is that I got my uh, I got my green gas and my BBs. I got the pistol case, glasses inside, and then this this whole area inside uh, is uh, like a hook and loop. So what I have here is my mags and uh, my speed loader, and there. Um, they're in these pouches, uh, also from Helicon, that uh, are hook and loop, and you can just... Ah, really tight. So these types of pouches, they fit the High Kappa mags really well. Uh, so um, you can just attach them to any place in the bag. And you have this secure setup where you have your mags in the main bag and you got your pistol case that you can just take out and go to the safety area uh, to basically take the pistol out and holster it and then you got your mag separately so this is really nice and it uh, this main compartment uh, keeps all this stuff together really well and like I told you before this uh, I like to carry uh, oh sorry that's yeah 400 400 ml or 520 it says here anyway the smaller bottles um, I like these because they fit flush in the bag plus also uh, if you're like running low on one and you keep it inside and then you take a fresh one you could just chuck it in here and it's like you know like a small water bottle size so it fits nicely and then other stuff that you uh, that I have here you have these two uh, sort of pouches they're very uh, they're very large, you got like these uh, mesh pockets, uh, see-through mesh pockets as well. Uh, so what I got is uh, some spray silicone oil because sometimes your gun gets dry. You might want to uh, touch it up with silicone. Uh, the other one I got just some tissues and then an important uh, tool which is just Allen keys where uh, you might want to uh, do something. And then one other tool that I carry is actually on my keychain, so uh, like with my car key, so I always have it. But uh, it's like this Victorinox Rambler, and the uh, the most important feature on this little uh, knife is this Phillips head 3D uh, screwdriver, which is very useful to uh, get into all the high cap of parts that you might want. And honestly, uh, oh yeah, there's one other thing in the back. You also have this nice large zippered pocket. I carry gloves here, but uh, obviously this place can hold your other stuff. So uh, yeah, that's like, that's my setup. Um, it's not much, but it's enough for me. Like this, uh, this kit, uh, I can go to the range, have a nice practice session. I got all my stuff with me all the time. I know where it is. It's uh, very portable. Uh, you can just throw it in the car, carry it on your shoulder, and it's just great. So, yeah, I hope you got some inspiration. Hope you enjoyed the video, and see you in the next one. Bye bye.